Hello everyone, just uh, gonna do hopefully a shorter video about how to build a portable tetherball pole or stand, whatever you want to call it. Went to the local tire shop and grabbed a used worn out tire off of a car, lower profile. Then I cut a piece of wood to fit inside and I had to squeeze it in there and stretch the tire around it. So when it's inside, it's sitting, it's sitting on the lip and going past the lip. And then center it. And I am going to be using, oh, let me move that. <clears throat> this uh, quick, uh, cement that has everything in it all you have to do is add the water and mix it up as per directions and then uh, pour it in and uh, let it set and I've got a few bags over there but also well, let me put the phone down for a second fix something here Okay, so then after you have that plywood in place, get a piece of plastic or vapor barrier or tarp or something and cut it as big as a tire and then put it on the inside over the plywood. And I went around and I added tape and it doesn't really stick to the inside of the tire, but hopefully the cement will keep it down and it won't leak out the bottom. Okay. So then what I did after you do that to uh, set a pole in, <clears throat> I found myself an uh, aluminum scaffolding tube two feet long and drilled two sets of holes in it. And they are at different heights. One's a bit lower, one's a bit higher, and I made a mark up higher to the top of the tire so I didn't extend that. So then, uh, I've seen videos and people use rebar. Well, the store I went to didn't have rebar, so I just bought this all thread rod. And so I'm using what I have available to me. See, there's a, there's a sticker for buying the all thread rod. And so your rods, securing rods, so it won't spin when you're, when you're playing or kids hang off it. It doesn't spin inside and break the cement and can be pulled out. So it's going to be held in there solid. And then you're wondering, well, what good is a two foot tube? For a pole, I said it was a scaffolding tube, and scaffolding, they have such thing as joiners, so then you can put a joiner on it, and then a super long tube. For tether ball, you need ten, a 10 foot tube, and so you put an 8 foot tube inside and hit those wedges tight. <clears throat> but if you ever do want to move it, just undo this joiner and then you'll have a short tube with the tire that you could put to the side and roll it around might be I'm estimating five bags maybe six bags after I mix it in the bucket and pour it in but each bag weighs 55 pounds so that 250, 300 pounds, that's a, a heavy base. And you kind of need that if you have kids playing around, they might want to run and jump and swing off of it. So, anyway, gotten this far, now I have to mix this cement. Thanks for watching. I'll have a later video. Bye for now.